Hi, in this video we're going to talk about Power BI and to be more specific we're going to talk about bookmarks in Power BI. Now uh, if you've been working with Power BI for any amount of time you know that the amount of space available is often not enough to tell a story and it's even more complicated when you have a number of filters that uh, the user needs to apply uh, to get that information that you want to convey to them. At these scenarios it's often useful to be able to pre-customize the report in a way that the user just clicks a button and immediately knows exactly what you're trying to tell them. And that's where bookmarks come into play. Because what a bookmark does is it allows you to pre-configure the dashboard of the report in a specific way with a certain combination of filters, with a certain look. And the user is immediately able to access that configuration by just clicking a button. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve that. And uh, for that purposes, I've already created a Power BI report over here. And uh, don't go by the numbers, that's just basically just dummy data that I've created for uh, demonstrating this particular functionality. Now, what you'll do first over here is you'll come under buttons over here and you'll click and you'll create a blank button. And uh, in my case, I'm going to create a blank button and I'm going to call it reset so that when you click this button, immediately any filters that might have been applied have been undone. And that way what happens is after clicking the customizations, if the user wants to go back to the original setup, by clicking this button they should be able to do that. In order to achieve this, what I'm doing is once I created this button, I'm going to go ahead and create a bookmark. To do that, I'll click view on the top and you'll see that I have an option here called bookmarks pane. When I click, I'll see that I've got bookmarks already created here. So in the interest of showing you this video, in a more thorough format I'm gonna go ahead and delete all these bookmarks that I've already created and uh, create a new one for you so what I've got here is I've got the reset button and I've I've got the bookmarks pane over here I'm gonna click add and I'm gonna call this reset so this right now as soon as I create this bookmark it's gonna remember what this page looks like and what filter criteria have been applied so you'll see here I've got a filter called criteria uh, category and in there I've got high low and medium and right now it's basically just all of them selected or unselected if you want to see it that way so that's kind of what I have at the moment and anytime I make any changes by just clicking this reset button I should be able to get back to this configuration over here but before I can do that I need to link up this button with this bookmark and therefore I'll click the button and under button you'll see there's an option called action where I'll click action and I'll say the type is to connect to a bookmark more specifically the bookmark called reset now in this particular report I want to be able to tell the story of uh, three types of individuals the first one being a low income earner the second one being a medium income earner and the last one being a high income earner and for that purposes I've created a calculated column in my power pivot where based on the salary I've bucketed people into low medium and high and uh, uh, if you're interested basically low means anybody less than seventy five thousand uh, dollars high means anybody more than hundred and fifty thousand dollars and we'll be able to see that by looking at the average salary that will show up over here in a minute so for this purposes I need to create three buttons one is called low medium and high so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna cre click and create three buttons here right so that's the first one there's two more and the first one is obviously going to be called low there we go second one is going to be called medium and the last one is obviously high <laughs> okay so there we go and uh, what we need to do is f corresponding to each one of these buttons we need to create a bookmark so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to click low over here and once I do that I'm gonna click add and say low over here so this bookmark is now going to remember that when it was created the filter was configured to the value low the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it to medium and add another bookmark and I'm gonna call this bookmark medium and the last one I'm gonna do is high so that goes right up here and I'll click add and I'll say hi so now that I have three buttons and three bookmarks the only thing left for me to do is link up the button with the bookmark so I'll click the low button here and say the action is when you click on it you need to go ahead and uh, go to bookmark and under bookmark select 
the low bookmark and again for medium I'll do the type as bookmark and again change the bookmark to medium and the last one being high where the bookmark followed by high so at this point that's all that you really need to do and uh, in order to test it out what I can do is if I just press control and then click on this button you'll see that immediately the average salary is less than 75,000 if I press control and medium you'll see that it goes to 112,000 and if I click high it'll go to about 175,000 and you'll see that all the other parameters over here also filter based on uh, the data that's available and if I want to go back to my default I'll just control and press reset and immediately everything gets reset back to its original configuration so this is a very interesting way of being able to provide very specific information to the user without them having to remember the configuration or the combination of filters that they need to use and this makes the overall user experience really friendly and it's something that I recommend everybody use in their dashboards because uh, the, f the most important thing about a dashboard is to be able to get to that point of data that you really are interested in and to be able to do it in a very user friendly way. If you can achieve these two things, your dashboard is pretty much perfect. And uh, that's kind of pretty much every what everybody wants. They want to be able to see that meaningful information at the click of a button. And Power BI definitely allows you to do that if you know how to use your bookmarks and uh, that's kind of what I want to show you in this video there is something else that I want to show in a in follow-up video later on and that has to do with this option here called sync slicers and uh, a very funny behavior that you'll encounter with sync slicers is uh, what happens when you delete a slicer so uh, stay tuned for that video that will come up uh, probably next week and uh, thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video